This is Nick and I want to show you some tips on how to play the guitar. What I'm going to show you is a visualization technique which I like to call guitar math. What guitar math does is allows us to use one string as a point of reference to work out all the rest of the strings. And so you will never be lost when you are playing on the fretboard up here, down here or anywhere else. So how does this work? First of all, we have to know that there are 12 tones in Western music. Those tones are A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, E sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. What happens next is we get back to A. We see the double dots, and that basically tells us you're starting again at the open string. We number these. Zero is A. One is A sharp. 2 is B, 3 is C, 4 is C sharp, 5 is D, 6 is D sharp, 7 is E, 8 is F, 9 is F sharp, 10 is G, 11 is G sharp. And when we get to 12, we're back at A. Commit that to memory. So let's apply our note values to our strings. So there are six strings on the guitar and if you don't know already I'll show you what the names are. So starting from the bottom to the top, thickest to thinnest, it goes E, A, D, G, B, E. And again, E, A, D, G, B, E. You can remember this by saying elephants and donkeys grow big ears. So now that you know the string names, let's give them values. The E's on the outside were seven. A is of course 0, D is 5, G is 10, B was 2. So now that you know the note values and how those can give us string values, we can now apply a simple formula to work out any note on the guitar fretboard. So here's how it works. We're going to plus our string value and our fret number together to get a number between 0 and 11 which will correlate to the note values that we learn. So if I take the third fret of the E string I know that the string value is 7 and the fret number is 3 so I plus those two together to get 10 that gives us G. Following? It's so, alright you'll get it. Let's take another example let's look at the D string. So D had the string value of 5 so I'm going to play the fifth fret D 5 plus 5 equals 10, G again. Let's try another one. 8 of the B string. B string value is 2, and this fret number is 8, so we plus those two together. Hey ho, what do you guess? It's G again. Alright, let's try another one. Uh, let's try the G string. Now if you remember, the G string's note value was 10. Let's play 9 on the G string. Now 10 plus 9, 19. So that's not between 0 and 11. It doesn't correlate to our numbers that we had before. But here's what we do. Every time you go over 12, you subtract 12. So 19 minus 12 equals 7. There we go, that's E. So let's do another one. Fourth fret of the D string. So D string's string value is 5. Fret number is 4. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 9 was F sharp. But let's try it with some higher numbers up past the 12th fret. So, I'm going to take the 14th fret of the D string. So that's 14 plus 5, which equals 19. 19 minus 12 is 7. This note is E. 17th fret of the B string. 17 plus 2 is 19 again. Minus 12, 7, that's E. Let's try another one. 18th fret of the A string. 18 minus 12 equals 6. 6 is D sharp. One. Let's try a tricky one. Um, we're going to take the 18th fret of the G string, so that's 18 plus 10, that's 28. So now we're over 24, so we minus 24 as that's two 12s. 28 minus 24 gives us 4, you guessed it, C sharp. So this might take a few tries to get the hang of, but once you get it, you will be happy you did. You will never get lost on the guitar again, and soon you won't be doing the equation to figure out where you are. There are some resources for this lesson, which you can find if you click the link in the description box. There are also some apps and games which you can use to practice your guitar math with. Alright, so until next time, stay awesome.